It's a wonderful property located right at the border of Garapada State Park. What makes it so special that is that it feels completely remote and it borders, you know, hundreds of miles of trails into the Montana wilderness, but it is actually not that far south of civilization. It was designed in a way that most of the house has green roofs and on the downhill side, uh, the meadows go right up against the house. So the natural landscape, it's completely enveloped by the natural landscape. So you have 180 degree ocean views from, from your pool and from your spa. So. And we have a dark sky ordinance, so the stars are amazing at night. We have power at the property line, but that is half a mile away from the house. So it's still, it was still quite a costly endeavor to get the power extension. Getting power to remote sites is getting more and more difficult. So just yesterday we were told on a very remote site in um, Carmel Valley, it's not even that remote, it's 10 minutes from, from the village, uh, that PG&E told us it could be three to seven years until we get power if they decide to serve us. It used to be if you were a bit away from the grid, the, the utilities would give you a pretty good deal to bring power to you because you were going to be a good customer. Well, now that customer is not so good for the utility anymore. And because chances are they're building a real efficient house and they're going to have enough solar to cover all of their electric usages. Um, and so now they basically figure out what you would have spent over 30 years. I'm going to charge you that up front. Some people are taking that money they would have spent and looking at trying to, of going basically off the grid. Some combination of solar, of batteries, and a backup generator. And increasingly those backup generators uh, are run by propane. When they go off the grid, it's almost impossible to use electric for space heating and domestic hot water. So now the propane we use for space heating, domestic hot water, and the backup generation, maybe cooking as well. We do not have natural gas on any of those sites, yes, so it would be propane and we are lucky that we have relatively good and stable service here when it comes to propane because the sun will take care of most of it but not of all of the power needs that we would have in an off-grid situation. Just for resiliency, if you only have solar, you have a finite number of days that you can operate. If you have that additional backup of the generator, if you don't have the grid, then it just gives you more resiliency.